What's up everyone, this is JR Production X, and today we have a very simple tutorial, and this is going to teach you guys how to restore your Mac computer to factory settings. This is going to delete all your information, and it is a fresh install of the operating system. In this case, it will be OS X 10 Mountain Lion, basically making a computer like the day you took it out of the box. The reason why you might want to do this is because Apple doesn't include the resource CDs like they used to, so you need to know how to do this. This tutorial will work for any Mac, it doesn't matter whether it's a MacBook Pro, Air, iMac, Mini, or Mac Pro, it will work for all of them. It's very simple to do, so let's get started. The first step you're going to want to do is turn off your Mac. You just want to make sure that it is completely off, so wait a few seconds for that to shut down. The next step you want to do is turn on the machine, so hold down the power button and the option key at the same time. Then once the screen turns on, you're going to want to let go of the power button while still holding on to the option key. After a few seconds of holding down the option keys, two hard drives are going to pop up. On the left hand side, we have the Macintosh hard drive, and on the right side, we have the Recovery HD on right. And that's the one you're going to want to click on, the one on the right. After you click on the Recovery HD, it's going to boot into a special recovery partition, so just wait a few seconds for that. The next step, what you want to do is click the next button. And this is going to bring you to utilities and you can do several things from here such as backup from a time machine, you can reinstall the software, and you can also access disk utility. You're going to want to open up disk utility and click continue. On the left hand side, select Macintosh HD. After you selected the correct hard drive, click on erase. And before you erase everything on your hard drive, make sure that everything is backed up and saved. After that step, the hard drive is completely blank, so now we're going to have to install the software. Just click continue and continue once more. And for this step, you're going to have to make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi because it is downloading it from Apple. And now just select the same hard drive that you clicked to delete all the information from and continue once more. Now this process right here is going to take about an hour to 45 minutes to download the software from the internet. After it's done downloading, it's just going to reboot. After it's done booting up, it's going to jump in right into the next step so you won't have to do anything. And this is installing the software that you just downloaded in the previous step. And this step is going to take about anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. After it's done installing the software on the computer, it's going to be like you just took it out of the box and setting it up for the first time. Well, that's it for my tutorial, guys. If this video did help you, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. If you have any questions or concerns or just get lost in this whole process, just drop me a comment down below. I'll make sure to answer them. I am also going to be making several other tutorial videos in the near future, so tell me if you guys like this one and if you guys have any suggestions for future videos. See you in the next one, and this is JR Production X, signing off. Peace.